Good morning, my name is Gina, and I am part of the Emerging Wireless Technologies team at Comcast. The best way to describe our team is technology meets strategy. Spatial analytics is very new to our team, but we see the great benefit in adding it to our toolbox. One of our most fun projects that I've had a chance to work on is to truly understand the Xfinity mobile experience and try to improve their experience through spatial analytics. Today, I will walk you through a brief 101 on the XM network, try to visually represent what that experience looks like, and then walk you through a few use cases we've thought of that could help improve the Xfinity mobile experience. So Xfinity Mobile, a wireless network designed to save you money. How are we different from our competitors out there? A typical cellular company or an MNO, a mobile network operator such as Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, are designed to provide wireless data and voice traffic to their subscribers. Xfinity Mobile, an MVNO, or a mobile virtual network operator, partners with companies like Verizon, and we sell the same network coverage back to our subscribers. XM actually has a few benefits that help differentiate us from Verizon as well as other network operators. The first being cost savings. The XM network utilizes over 22 million hotspots nationwide to help subscribers save on data by accessing free Wi-Fi. Let's say a typical mobile user uses 20 gigabytes of data a month, and they have a pay-by-the-gig mobile plan. In the use case of the MNO, that user is usually charged the 20 gigabytes for that data usage for that specific month. As an XM subscriber, let's say I was able to offload five gigabytes of that data onto our Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots. I would be then charged 15 gigabytes of data for that month of usage, which in turn allows us as a company to offer discounted rates back to our subscribers. An additional benefit we have is that we can stay connected. In areas where cellular networks may struggle to reach or have high congestion, Wi-Fi offloads allows users to stay connected in areas like venues or inside of buildings. Imagine you're at the Super Bowl and you're trying to capture the game-winning touchdown. You try to open up your favorite data application to capture that moment, but it just does not load. Oftentimes, a crowded venue can overwhelm a cellular network. As an XM subscriber, if there was a nearby Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspot, we'd be able to use the additional benefit of Wi-Fi to open up our data application and capture that game-winning moment. And lastly, speed. Although max cellular speeds are catching up to Wi-Fi today, generally Wi-Fi provides a faster service than cellular networks. Download your favorite shows, podcasts, and movies up to 20 times faster than 4G. Now with this new found knowledge of our XM network, I'm going to try to visually represent what an XM user experience may look like. To start off, I'll use the typical experience of a, tip, a cellular customer. So this is a use case of commuting to the office. You start your day at home, reading some emails, take the train into the city, you stop by your local coffee shop, and then you walk the remaining distance to your office. During this whole time, you are connected to a cellular network. You may latch on to one or multiple towers along the way, but all of that data traffic flows through a cellular connection. Now let's look at that commute for an XM subscriber. We start our day at home connected to Wi-Fi in our home, while we're taking the train into the city, we connect to the nearby cellular tower so that we can use our data on a cellular connection. Luckily for us, the coffee shop is also a Comcast subscriber broadcasting Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots. I'm, I'm able to then connect to their Wi-Fi hotspot to offload some of my data traffic while I'm waiting for my fresh cup of coffee. I then walk the remaining distance back to the office connected to a cellular network. 
And then once I arrive at the office, I'd be able to utilize the Wi-Fi hotspots that we have in our office. The transitions between cellular and Wi-Fi are automatic and seamless. You don't have to log in using a username and password whenever you see an Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspot. The authentication is built in so that the user has a continuous data traffic flowing through their mobile device. However, we understand that users can still be experiencing uh, task failures during this time. Although we don't have the ability to change or modify the cellular network, essentially because we are borrowing Verizon's network, we have the ability to use spatial analytics to optimize the Wi-Fi network layer. In order to do so, we thought of a few use cases. In order to really answer some of these use cases, we are using crowdsourced data. Mobile demand is growing quickly, and having the ability to understand where users are, XM has the power to help offload more data onto the network versus, our, uh, versus a cellular network. With the vast amounts of variety of data that's out there, of device SDK, our team can start to visualize multiple networks in one view and dissect areas where issues may intersect. Mobile SDK data, um, imagine you have your device and it actually sends data every time you transition from a Wi-Fi to cellular connection. It can grab the Wi-Fi coverage statistics or your cellular coverage statistics at that moment in time. Or we can have timed intervals where we say, hey device, send my data in terms of mo total mobile usage so that we can start to understand where customers are using that data and how much per month. Or every time I'm looking at a specific video on YouTube and it fails to buffer, or I can't look at my Instagram reels for that morning, send a task failure notification from my device. With all these variety of data sets, we can start to ask some questions. Can we offload more data in high demand zones? Are there gaps in cellular coverage where we can help supplement or help fill in with a Wi-Fi coverage layer? And lastly, where are our subscribers experiencing issues? So where are the users using mobile data? So for our first two use cases, um, as you can see here, um, I'm gonna walk through the first one, uh, which is can we offload more data in high demand zones? Let's imagine these quad bins as aggregated mobile usage, green being low mobile usage and red being high mobile usage. As you can see in the upper left corner, we already have an existing Wi-Fi hotspot. It's doing its job to try to capture some of that high mobile usage onto our Wi-Fi network. However, if you look on the bottom right-hand corner, these are two other locations where we can spin up a hotspot to try and capture more of that data onto our network. This, in turn, is also savings for the customer itself, giving more opportunities to offload and having less cellular data traffic flow for that month. The second use case, are there gaps in cellular coverage we can help supplement? So utilizing the same image, let's now just imagine these quad bins as aggregated LTE RSRP. RSRP is a measurement that we can use to help define the quality of the cellular coverage in those zones. So back to our existing Wi-Fi AP, we can see that their cellular coverage there is very poor, but we do have an Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspot to help kind of alleviate some of that poor coverage. Similar to our first use case, we're proposing two other Wi-Fi hotspots in the bottom right corner because we notice that there are some gaps where the cellular coverage may be very poor or non-existent. Where are subscribers experiencing issues? So going back to task failures and having the device be able to send data when a task failure occurs, we're adding a new layer of data onto our maps. As you can see, the red points visualize moments in time where a subscriber has experienced a task failure. 
Previously on the upper left-hand corner, our Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspot we thought was doing its job. It was offloading mobile data usage, as well as filling in the gaps where there was poor coverage. However, we're noticing that there's a lot of subscribers experiencing issues, task failures in that same uh, location. So what we thought was not an issue before truly is an issue. There's a various amount of solutions that we thought of that we can help implement this problem. One, we can either relocate that AP, maybe a couple feet to the left or right, or in this case, a little south from where it's positioned today, or we can try to expand that coverage radius, radius of that Wi-Fi access point. By utilizing the same hardware, this correlates to huge CapEx savings for our company. Another solution could be a simple software upgrade. It's cost savings to us that we don't have to actually send out a truck roll or a technician to do the upgrade itself. We can actually do the upgrade from our office. Um, and software upgrades actually help with feature enhancements, improved connectivity, and greater efficiencies. Although spatial analytics is very new to our team, we're hoping to help improve the Xfinity mobile experience nationally by utilizing tools like Cardo out there today and building a platform by taking these use cases and building them into a real life solution. Thank you so much.